Now, this is good news because we actually are in a swing trade on this one. So we're in a swing trade. AJ says it's going to go bananas today. Here's the extended hours. So it's slowly creeping up extended hours. I mean, again, we do have a position on it. Uh, at least, at least I do. We do. We should have, should have a position in it. And it is going up. So that's good. Robert says weed socks are on fire today. Yeah. If it's weed, it's up. Tilray with the short squeeze. You know, the sh short squeezes are going, short squeezes are going hard in the paint today. The, the weed, the weed stocks, I should say. Um, Fedor says Uber. Leah says the year of the short squeezes. Apparently, it's really quite impressive. But yeah, I, I don't exactly know precisely what's going to happen, but something's happening. That is for sure. That's all I got, team. I wish I knew something more than that. <laughs> I wish I wish I knew something cooler than that statement. That something is happening, but that's that's all I know. There is a, there's a lot of squeezes going on. There's a lot of movement. We do have a weed position. So at least we're not fully missing out, right? We don't have we don't have tons of FOMO. I don't have any Tilray, but there's a lot of stuff going on out there. Pop Blue says this is not sustainable. No, but the market can remain irrational much longer than some people can remain solvent. So there's no reason to fight it. Just enjoy the move and have, have fun. You know, write it up and then write it down, I guess. So Unity Software, this is the one that we won on yesterday. And it's actually gapping up again today. So we'll take that off the screen. Select quotes. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on select quote today. Take two interactive. These are all the gaps from yesterday. Exxon Mobil. Uh, Exxon Mobil, kind of retesting. AMD, I can leave on the list pretty much every day. It's slowly, slowly gapping up some, which is kind of nice. Right? So it's up a little bit. AMD is. We'll do that on the list. Corsair Gaming, so we can take off. This was the one we had yesterday. Chegg. Um, We'll probably come back to it realistically. I'll most likely put on the list for Thursday for Robert Falco, AKA Dr. Falconium. He'll look at this one on Thursday and help you guys set that up, CHGG, if he does anything with it. All right, TNXP, no, we can take that off the list. NetEase, NTES, we can take that off the list for now. Take that off the list. Dollar General worked out perfect. Look at this. Look at this, Mr. Squiggles. <laughs> That's awesome. Mr. Squiggles, the goat, the Tom Brady of trading. All right. So that wouldn't worked out really well. And Riot is down just a little bit today, right? Retesting, BNGO, SPG, and then Fuel Cell. Fuel Cell almost at its target. Right, we had a few traders ask yesterday, should you, should I short fuel cell? And my answer was no. Nope. So good job not shorting it. It's very, very close to a target though. All right. So the stocks that most of you guys are looking at is Uber. Uber gapping up to 6204. All-time high on Uber, slowly churning and burning. Slowly moving higher. Which is good. Richie says, looks like I'm going to miss SNDL. Sad face. So yeah, Uber, um, we can definitely put on the list, guys. It is a very good gap. Again, it's all at an all-time high, but here's the five-minute chart and five-minute chart just hanging out. This is the five-minute pre-market chart on Uber. And again, if I were playing this one, I'd probably let it dip into some of the support and then buy it down here. So if you're playing it, wait for a little bit of a dip, in my opinion, and look to uh, to buy a pullback. Okay, so Uber on the lift, uh, Uber on the list, Lyft also on the list, also gapping up, also with a horrific earnings miss, just getting dominated by everything else, and uh, yet Uber still gapping up huge. 
A lot of A says spy hits 400. You're still going to cash. I don't, I don't remember where I said that, but everyone's been saying that, that I've said that. I don't, I don't remember saying that, but the cues, uh, if we hit 354.20, I will be going to cash. Yep. Jolene says, I said it yesterday. I did yesterday. Huh. Either way, if it goes higher, my target is 354.20 on the cues. I'll, I'll be selling the higher we go, guys. Absolutely. I'm in 50% cash right now. The higher we go, the more I sell and lock in profits. Edgar says, hello, Jeremy. One of my friends just paid the bundle of RLT, but did not receive any email. What can he do? Sorry, Edgar, that he's having that problem, man. Um, I don't know why. I would say have him email my boy support at reallifetrading.com and we will get him taken care of as quickly as we can. Yeah, shoot him a quick message and we'll get him all squared away. But yeah, guys, uh, again, the higher we go, absolutely the more in cash I'm going to be. We're all, we're all obviously taking advantages of the moves, right? I'm not, not in positions. I'm still buying things. I'm just going to, you know, be locking in profits the higher we go. That's pretty much it. So yeah, Uber, Lyft, both should go on the list. And I think we're going to be really, really um, well-timed for this guy. I think we're going to be very well-timed. So here's AYX. AYX is getting train housed. Another big gap down on earnings on AYX. Another one down 11%. And again, I do have a collar over earnings. I do have protective puts and a covered call. So it can go down as low as it wants. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty okay on it. I'll put on the list. We'll watch it. But I actually do think it, it probably goes lower, most likely. And then probably bounces. We'll see. But I do have a collar on AYX. I'm not extremely stressed out about it at all. I mean, I wish it would have gapped up, but it's not. Here's LAZR, Lumineer Technologies. Lumineer Technologies, um, very, very, very small gap. Lauren, but you're a great trader at gaps like that, of that size. So if you're playing it, yeah, man, just... Be cool, calm, and collected. And I would simply say, uh, look to lock in profits and, you know, buy low, sell high. Should be pretty. Lemonade, LMND. So Lemonade, also pretty nice gap on Lemonade. Yeah. I can throw it on the list. I don't know if we'll trade it personally, but it's been trading sideways for a while. And then you got a ginormous candle yesterday, a little bit of an upper shadow. Overall trend is obviously bullish on pretty much everything. <laughs> And it's a small, small, small gap above some upper shadows. So Lemonade, I'll keep on the list and we'll see if we play it. Global Star, uh-oh, another one. We're getting another one that's randomly up. <laughs> GSATs, no clue what it's going to do, but you had 249 million shares traded yesterday. It's gapping up. So someone probably going to be looking at selling it at some point, but is it going to go higher? Probably. There's going to be tons of random stocks. that are just going to get these really, really big moves. So, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting. AJ says it's a 5G Qualcomm play. Nice. Well, it's, it's paying off right now. Um, it hasn't been paying off for a very, very, very long time. You know, 2009, it was the exact same price, 38 cents. But yeah, you know, it's now gapping up. So is it going to do anything long-term? I really don't know, but probably not, most likely. But yeah, man, I do know that you love those trades, and I'm sure you're going to trade it extremely well because you are a beast. Um, Josh says AYX put question mark. I do have long puts on AYX. Yep, 115 February. Okay. Um, Steven wants to look at Coke and Under Armour. So Coke is gapping up on earnings. There's a lot of traders in on Coke with all kinds of positions. I'm not one of those traders, but um, sweet. Yeah, that's cool. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a nice gap. There's gonna be a lot of people who are excited about that gap, I think. I'll put it on the list. We will see, but it's a great gap. A lot of people in it. Under Armour, I'm telling you guys, this one's been slowly creeping around recently. It's had some good breakouts. It's up 10%. Under Armour, uh, I'll put it on the list just to watch it, but all these small cap, random no-name companies are doing stuff, and now Under Armour's catching up. This one is intriguing. I'll put it on the list to see what we do with it. Redfin, RDFN, to the moon. <laughs> Red fans running. It's up 3% at 94.50. This was $40 a share weeks ago. Weeks ago. Numerous days ago, Red Fan was at $40 a share. I can put it on the list. We'll see what it does. Leland wants to look at UVAS. Sorry, UAVS. Aerial Systems. Electronic, aerospace, and engineering. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a lot out there. There's a lot of these stocks that have just been absolutely smashed and some money is pouring into them from somewhere. It is a good gap. The one thing to be a little cautious on is yesterday has a humongous bullish candle. I mean, just absolutely massive. So my thought on that one, Leland, is it probably will gap up and most likely fade down. That's probably what happens today in general is we kind of gap up and fade down on not everything, but some things. I think some things we, we gap up and fade down. Um, we'll see, but that one's probably one that that's what we would do. All right, k Dog wants to look at CGIX. Cancer Genetics. Cancer Genetics up 139%. Wow. Because why, why not? <laughs> because yes. That's right. Because absolutely. Up 139%. Um, no earthly idea on how to trade that one. It was up at 25 this morning. No clue. I'll put it on the list just for just blatant guessing. We'll see. All right, Andres says NTWN, Newtown Lane Marketing. This is probably a spec. No idea what this one is. Not sure. Andre says, how can I, how can I pay it? Um, on this one, man, I mean, I think the only thing that I could possibly do on this one is probably just <laughs> buy some shares, close your eyes and hope for the best. I don't really know what they do. I don't know anything about them. I, this is an ugly, ugly chart. I don't even know what this means. It probably just came out. I'm assuming it's a SPAC. So buy some shares, have your stop loss at zero and don't bet too heavy. That's pretty much it. Cisco, a lot of people asking about Cisco corporations. Cisco Systems, really intriguing gap down on Cisco Systems. Now, Cisco, been around forever, not going away. Eventually, we'll fade this gap. I will put it on the watch list. We will see what she does. 100 SMA on a weekly. So, weekly charts. It's gapping down into, we'll see what it does. But looks really interesting. Okay, so that's on the list. Alex says k and Oh, Candy Technologies is still around? Oh my goodness. Let me, let me go look at the broader market really quick. What's the broader market doing? Spy, we're just, we're gapping up again. Incredible. Incredible. So gapping up. Um, yeah. Again, most likely we're going to gap up and fade down a little bit today, but in general, looks looks good to continue higher. DraftKings slowly chilling. Cloudera 
is continuing to move. It's running nicely. So congrats for anyone who's in Cloudera still. Edgar says, do you think this is healthy? You know the answer to that, Edgar. The answer is no. But uh, yeah, man, just as it, as it goes higher, be in more and more cash. That's really all we can do. It's not healthy, but it can keep going. It can keep, I mean, we can, that's why we're day trading, right? We can day trade in and out, quick swing trades, option trades. We're probably going to close some swing trades today, depending on how they play out, obviously. But yeah, man, I'm excited for anyone who's in these positions. This is good. Make some gains, ladies and gentlemen. Make some gains. VLDR gapping above yesterday's candle. Alex looks awesome. Looks like a solid gap. Edgar says, I am green on everything. Nice, man. Nice. It's awesome. I mean, that's, that's a great spot to be in. It's a great spot. Can't be upset about that. I'll pretty much be green on everything today also other than AYX. <laughs> uh, I'll be down on AYX. Um, yeah, we still got 10 minutes until market open. Marta says, hoping to close out DocuSign and Fastly for four hours today. So DocuSign, I mean, looks decently bullish to me. I am in DocuSign long with calls off the 100 simple moving average. So good job, Marta. And Fastly, yeah, Fastly also looks powerful still. Fastly still has some strength. So Marta, well done, girl. Way to play. Let's go look at Wix. Is Wix moving up? Mm, not really. I mean, kind of, sort of. I am in Wix. Teladoc, does Teladoc up a little bit? Yeah, almost. It almost hit my, if it hits this price before March 1st, keep holding. It's looking pretty close, honestly. Looking pretty close. Tesla is actually down a little bit, which is, I think, good. Tesla needs to rest. Of all the stocks out there, I think we can agree that <laughs> Tesla needs to rest a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, Palantir, PLTR is gapping up just a smidge, right? So that, that has a little bit of strength to it. Twitter, you guys are asking about Twitter. Twitter is just, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. Everything. Everything looks like a one o'clock, just straight up. This is, this is mind boggling. It really is. This is quite incredible. This is powerful, guys. This is so powerful. Wow. It will not last, but it is powerful. I'll put on the list. We'll see what we do on it. Um, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted by how powerful this market is. This is one of the most bullish markets. I, no, this is, I would say this has to be the most bullish market I've ever been a part of. And the last time I said that, a week later, I went to cash on every position I owned. <laughs> so I'm just saying this it's a strong possibility that we do it again. The higher we go, but hey guys, here's the important part. And I want you all to understand this. This is what's exciting for me is there's a lot of trading rooms, number one, who are very bearish right now and they're losing money, right? Number two, there's a lot of trading rooms, a lot of just trading organizations, all that stuff out there who are buying like crazy right now as well. So you have people who are extremely bullish and then people who are extremely bearish, which is a good blend. But there's very few people who are going neutral and flat as we go higher. And we're gonna be one of those people and it's gonna be smart. You're gonna have to trust me on that one. Because whatever pullback we get will not be what you think it's gonna be. And the after effect will not be what you think it's gonna be. I'm saying that to myself. I don't even know what to expect other than most likely we're just going to go higher, but I don't know how big the pullback will be, how long it'll last. We'll go higher after the pullback, but it's going to be interesting to find out. But I got you, team. I got you. We'll do this together. It's going to be amazing. I'm thrilled about it. Woot, woot. <laughs> All righty. Anything else you guys want to look at? We have a decent list. I have no idea what I'm actually going to day trade. I'm probably just going to be selling some swing trades today and just, just sitting back and relaxing. Pablito says, 
Jerry, with so many retail investors with no experience, don't you think that we start going lower? There's going to be a little bit of panic and selling out there. Uh, for sure. But I mean, absolutely. But the thing is right now, everyone's making money on a easy bullish market. So they're just buying the dip. So they're going to do it again. And it will probably, it'll keep working until it doesn't. And the question is, when does that look, what does that look like? I mean, I could sit and speculate for hours, but in general, I mean, this was a pullback. You know, we did get one just recently. That's why we're, we can go higher. We did, we did get a pullback and we're going higher. So in general, I mean, we have a big run up, something like this, and we could get one of those, but I don't know why we just don't go higher, man. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Whatever pullback we get, the market's just so powerful. The trends, moving averages, everything. Everyone's just getting excited. We're just we're just gonna keep going higher. Yeah, it's interesting. Lucian says, I'll be in 95% cash on Friday. I'm going to reduce all my positions to 10 shares or less just in case it keeps climbing. Chris says, the more talk about bear markets on TV, the higher we go. Yeah, precisely. Yep. So again, I think we're going to keep going. And again, we can say whatever we want, but sometimes it's just candle sentiment. Right? Look at this weekly candle that we took out on the SPY. And that's a big deal, right? That's a really big deal. AJ says, sundial pre-market volume going nuts. What's crazy about it, man, is yesterday, guys, this is so cool. Uh, yesterday, there was a billion shares traded on Sundial. The other day, there was 2 billion shares traded. <laughs> it's incredible. Incredible. And this is the pre-market volume. So I'm going I'm to put my target out there at 334. I do have some, some shares of Sundial. So I'm actually going to be pretty pleased if this goes higher. Donna says, do you think it'll fade? Nope. No, I don't. Buy the dip, stay in that one for a few days. Our target on this for a day trade is $3. Sorry, sorry, swing trade, $3.34. Remember, we are in this. Miranda says, if we missed the entry, is it still worth getting in? No, ma'am. Yesterday was the day to get in, unfortunately. Uh, if it pulls back maybe midday to down to $2.00, you could get a little bit, but just have a stop loss in place and be careful. I do think it can go higher, but I mean, we got in yesterday. You know, we set it up on Monday and it filled yesterday. By the way, guys, everyone knows how to access the official trading journal, right? For my swing traders. I'm sure you guys all have the swing trade journal. If you guys don't, just make sure that you know how. Go to your dashboard, RLT official trade journal. Just make sure you snag it. Because again, we have a lot of new traders who are joining us constantly, which is amazing, right? It's incredible. Very, very thrilled. Just want to be, just want to, just want to protect everybody and just make sure that everyone has what they need. Um, yeah, so Sundial has to go on the list. Tilray has to go on the list. Uh, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what happens, but there's, there are definitely some traders in some, in some Tilray. Leah said it could pull a GME. It could. No, that's what's crazy. You're right. It absolutely could. Mm hmm. Lucia says, what would be a good entry on Sundial if you're not in? You, nothing. You just missed it. That's it. You can day trade it if you want. But we'll watch it all day. We will watch it all day. Yeah. But again, guys, we, we set it up on Monday in the swing trading room. On Monday. All right, select quote. I'm going to watch it closely. AMD, going to watch it closely. Fuel cell. This is a this target is the monthly 50 EMA, AJ. The monthly 50 and and just like a note, you know, it's only up 3000%. So other than that, you know, it's no big deal. They don't actually make money. They don't have any revenue. 
Uh, fuel cell, $29.99. It's a 50 EMA on a monthly chart. Uber, it's going to 10X um, from $40 over the next 10 years. I mean, it's Uber. It's a verb. Everyone uses it all around the world. All around the world. The whole globe uses Uber. The whole world says Uber. Let's Uber here. Let's go there. Uber, long term, will go higher. Marta says Lyft is better. There are a lot of people who like Lyft. There are. Lyft is a better gap today. I would agree on that. Um, all right, team, we got just a few more seconds. Lauren says Tesla ends up buying Uber or Lyft, calling it now. Ah, oh, you can't you can't steal my thunder, Lauren. I said that in the advanced class, class number four, June of last year. Don't be you can't you can't steal it, man. <laughs> but no, dude, I think you're right. I think I think you're right, bro. It it makes sense. A lot of people are like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, it makes tons of sense. Joel says, I predict Tesla buys out. Ooh. There we go. All right, market's open. Let's go see what we have out there, boys and girls. It's going to get nutty. It's going to get really, really interesting. There's going to be some initial selling, obviously some profit taking, and then I don't know how much, how many trades I'm going to take today. If I take a day trade, you guys will all know about it, but I'm just letting you know, I'm not, I'm really, I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. There's just so much weirdness out there. AYX. Um, Josh is saying, well, I sell a put. Do I, and I'm not going to sell a put, uh, put sale on AYX today. No. You can, if you really want some shares, but this is the third earnings in a row. They just keep disappointing and missing numbers. Joel says, my FOMO on Upwork is unreal. There she goes, man. Uh, looks like I'll be out of two more contracts today. 17 contracts remaining on Upwork. Marta says, there we go. DocuSign out for two R's. Nicely done, Narda. That's awesome. That is really, really fantastic. John says, didn't AYX beat earnings, but they lowered their guidance, whatever that means. You know, guidance got lowered. Good old guidance. T-I-X-T. So this is the swing trade that we have open that just has not triggered yet, which is fine. Again, we have a few swing trades that are open, that are that are in, right? WW is one of them. WW.com. I do love day trading AMD. I could day trade this one every day. I feel like it's it's a fun one. Um, I'm gonna watch this one because I do like this gap up a lot. This is a five minute chart. Let me go into the three minute. Let me turn the extended hours on. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, that's a, what a nice hammer. Wow, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Nice little pre-market hammer. Now, again, usually over the last few days and weeks, ever except for Monday, um, AMD is gapped up and then sold off at open. 91.99 by 91.34. We will be doing that. Oh, looks like we won't we won't have to for right now. Okay. Let's just, let's keep waiting, but I'm I'm more or less I'm letting you guys know I'll be playing AMD if it breaks out. Just uh, I guess we're just gonna be giving it some more time, huh? Ross is in short. On a quick little trade, I'm just gonna wait to see if it breaks out long, and it might not. Again, I'm just I'm just really waiting. I'm not gonna be super aggressive today because the market's just absolutely rage town, rage town city. Ed says, Zoom. I am in Zoom. I have some calls on Zoom. And Zoom, nice. Going up a little bit. That's cool. 
AJ says, I got out of Sundial for three R's. Nice, man. That's fantastic, bro. Fantastic work. So Zoom video, uh, yeah, looks still looks good. Ed, longer term. Activision, I still have my calls on this one. I think it's just going to eventually break out of here and just keep going. So I'm just going to hold that. Just going to hold that one. DraftKings, we looked at that earlier. So right now it's just chilling. Kind of an inside candle. Nothing too awesome. So DraftKings is kind of hanging out. Um, now, what's interesting on GameStop is it is at 47. But what I'm going to do as of today is buy back those put sales that I sold for seven cents. I did sell them for uh, more than that. So I'll be able to buy those back and take that risk off the table. So I just want to let you guys know that. Sorry, I forgot to mute my thinkorswim. So I'm going to buy back my $10 put sales. Um, just really quick. For those who sold $10 puts on GME with me expiring in February, I just bought mine back for a profit. Because we're down today. Um, we could get to 40 by, or by 10 by next week, but I'm profitable because the... Um, I'm profitable because of the theta and all that kind of good stuff. So credit spreads, put that over here. And official swing trades. So I got put sales, credit spreads there. And then here, I got to put it here too. Okay. All right, sweet. So that's just letting you all know, I'm out of those put sales on GME. So just, just taking the win, removing the buying power. I wish I could have sold more when I was like at $5. But, you know, such is life. JKS, we have a swing trade on it. And it's just, it's not winning right now. It's trying to win, but we're just trading sideways on it. So that's just doing its thing. Smile Direct, SDC, not doing anything special, realistically. Silver, slowly trying to go higher. Sierra Wireless, SWIR, not going up yet. And then, of course, Wix. Wix is looking brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Wow, look at Wix. Okay. Jumia. Uh-oh, Jumia. Jumia. Very nice. That's pretty. Well, I have a February covered call at 70. I would not be upset to get called away over there. Um, Joel says Tesla at off the 20 EMA on the daily. Yes, if you're going to play Tesla, you don't want to buy it off the 20 EMA. Maybe a share or two. Maybe a share or two. But yeah, it needs to pull back. Select quote, I'm going to keep an eye on. I just, I kind of like the bullish continuation from yesterday. I'm going to watch select quote pretty closely. AMD, I think we can probably get a little bit of a better entry on AMD. Let me actually go back over here to the five minute chart. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is what we'll do. 91.47 by 90. I don't think we need to do a full dollar, honestly, in this situation. We can do... 9081. So I'm going to have to do some quick math on that. 9147 minus 9081 equals 66 cents. Okay. 66 cents. This is a new official day trade on AMD. I will be setting this up in my broker. Official day trades. New official day trade on AMD. Okay, I'll put that there for right now. And let me just go set that bad boy up. 
Now, again, just because I'm setting up this trade, ladies and gentlemen, does not mean it's going to work. I'm just simply saying if it goes higher, I, I'm pretty much playing that hammer or candle breakout. Um, what's happening there? Okay. Got it, 91, stop limit, 47, stop loss, 90, 81. And target, I don't know yet, 92 something and some change probably. Okay, so we'll see if that works again. What I'm doing is I'm playing this hammer candle pre-market and I'm allowing the selling to come in a little bit on the three minute chart and playing the potential break higher. Right. If it doesn't work, I'm fine with that. But I know exactly why I'm playing it and I'm okay with it not working. JB says, do you make your stop and limit the same price? Yes, sir. Same price. Plus, it's a good, this is a good practice trade for a new day trader also. Yeah, it's a good practice day trade. All right. I'm going to watch that one really closely. Fuel cell again is very, very, very close to extremely strong target on the daily chart. So just be careful on that one. Uber. So again, if you're playing Uber, you, you want to buy the pullback, a steep, a steep pullback, and it is pulling back. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Lift. I'll watch it. AYX is going to get murdered today. Lemonade. L-M-N-D. That could continue higher. I'll scoot that up. It looks good. Coke. Pretty decent gap. Under Armour should fade today. Man, I would love to short something. Am I going to short Under Armour? Of all things to short out there, I'm probably going to short Under Armour. Man, I actually missed it. The short was right there. 2082. I wonder if I can reset that up. I think I missed that short. I can always put out there just in case, but that is absolutely the short. I'm okay to lose on this one if this does not work. All right, second official day trade of the day. Under Armour short. Twenty two eighty two. New official day trade on Under Armour. I'll just put that in right here. Give me one second. Oh boy. Put that in the chat pane. Joseph says, doesn't sound like Jeremy is a commentator, but instead of sports, it's stonks. <laughs> All right, 2282. We'll have to do some math on that one. 2349 minus 2282 is 67 cents. Okay. So pretty much the same as before. Now, again, I don't expect this to fill, but it could. $22.82, stop loss $23.49 would be the stop loss on that one. Target is probably $21.60 ish. We'll see. We'll find out if, we, if it triggers. We'll go from there. But again, I'm shorting below the low of this in, interesting bullish candle that made a new high of the day, new pre market high. Sam says, What's bearish mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh man, true story. All right, so we'd actually have a bear trade and a bull trade set up. Lemonade does look interesting. I am going to keep a very close eye on that one. Uber is likely going to fade some. AOX is getting absolutely train housed. Coca Cola doing its thing. Redfin doing its thing. CGIX, Cancer Genetics. Again, I'm watching that one out of just morbid curiosity. Cisco is fading a little bit. Twitter, who the heck knows? Sundial. So again, for all those who have FOMO, please don't. Um, Sundial can go higher, but if you were looking to get in and you did not get in for some reason at $1.37 yesterday, $1.74 would be your entry. Please have a stop on Sundial or at least have an absolute zero, whatever you're going to do. But if you're playing Sundial, $1.74, if you did not get in at $1.37 for some reason yesterday, 
dollar seventy four on the pullback is where you can start adding your position. Ride R I D E. Trading views not loading. Ride. Yeah. Wow. Lordstown Motors. Did you come out with that video yet? AJ, did, weren't you going to make a video? AJ says, I was literally editing it last night. Apparently, you're too slow. <laughs> but yeah, Lord's down. I mean, looks looks like it's trying to do its thing. Beyond Meat is zooming today, says somebody. Beyond Meat. Uh, I don't know if zooming is the right word, but it is. It is up. It's so far an inside day candle. Inside day candle inside the range of both yesterday and today. It is up though. You're absolutely correct about that. It's not down, at least not right now. I wonder if my ALXO is doing anything. ALXO, no, nothing yet. Oncology, I was thinking maybe the cancer stock is up, see if this one will do anything, but no. Maloney says, would you play Under Armour with puts? I would, yep. AJ says, BNGO, massive 15 minute candle if you like that kind of thing. That is a large hammer on the 15 minute chart. That's, that's a fact. Okay, so again, AMD still has not triggered. All right, there she goes. So on a three-minute uh, three chart, looks good. And again, five-minute looks good. Hector is in. Beautiful. We will watch it and see what it does. Hopefully it works. Um, targets. You know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna be a little flexible in this one. I'm not too. I'm not gonna be too too aggressive. I, I'm okay to get an R. Obviously, that'd be nice if it trades up to here. I think we could just sell it, lock in a profit. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. For now, I'll put my target at 92.25. 92.25, just in case it gets up there. All right. So AMD, 91.47 by 90.81. And again, I think we're all comfortable if this one doesn't work. Sometimes they work, sometimes they won't, but it is technically a gap and go. And you guys should be filled. Okay. Now, Under Armour, we'll see if it fills. Lemonade is doing its thing. Select quote, I'm watching. Again, Uber, you wanted to buy a dip. AYX is getting paper shredded. Oh, man. Redfin, CGIX, Cisco, Twitter, Sundial. Again, Sundial, this is a five-minute chart. So it's a, quite a nice hammer. So, again, if you are playing, it is a retest gap. You probably are buying the pullback. And we have a short on Under Armour that is filled. Okay. Filled on Under Armour. So we'll have two. We'll have one bull and we'll have one bear. I haven't taken a bearish trade in literally two, three months. Something like that. Something, it's way too much. And here's the hilarious part. We're probably going to lose on this one. <laughs> Uh, I was probably going to lose. That's the funniest part. But it's like, I got to try it. Got to try it. 2282. Hey, Richie says, haven't traded bear since Moby Dick was a minnow. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I had to read that just to make sure I wasn't saying something I shouldn't say. But yeah, uh, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, again, why am I shorting Under Armour? Just so that I can tell myself why. All right, well, number one, let's see. Since August, it's up 137%. In the last week, it is up 30%. It's a bunch of white candles gapping up into a resistance. I don't think there's any moving averages here that's holding it back. Well, 
The 100 simple is at 2463 on a monthly chart. I don't know if we're going to hit that, but I'll put down the list. So I, I'll, I'll align on there so I know where it's at. But I feel like we're selling it relatively on the high side. You know, we'll see. Lucas says, good morning, Jeremy. Tell me when it's time to go to cash because the market is not naturally up. Okay, Lucas, I will tell you. Lemonade. Lemonade's doing its thing. Select quote. Again, just watching some of these. Just watching them. Fuel cell still tanking. Again, it's just, I wouldn't, tanking is not the right word. It's just really, really, really up there. Wow. AMD. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see. Oh, heavens. Oh, boy. Let's get it. Mm. I know Greg's excited. Uh, let me find out. Not really. All right, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Kevin says, I can't remember the last time I got skipped on AMD, but today was the day. Oh no. So you got some of you guys didn't get filled on AMD. Robert says, I use stop market on AMD. Yeah. I mean, mostly just because it, it's very liquid. It's very, very liquid. Some of you guys are in, some you're not in. It's it's going to be one of those things where, best, you know, best of luck. But again, I can say this for sure. You can absolutely use stop market on AMD. It has very, very good liquidity. All right. So here's what we're going to do on um, the target is we're going to have to increase it now because really this, for those of you who are, and if you're not in, you can probably leave your entry open, right? Because AMD has been very, very wiki lately. But we'll move the stop up to here because we got the rotation that we were looking for. And we're also going to move up the target. Okay, so new stop loss. So if you're not in, just leave the order alone. And I'm going to move the target up to 92.33. 92.33. Um, updated, up, updated target on AMD and updated stop for those who are in. Okay. Updated stop and target. 2282. Okay. So then We'll see. And then again, back over to Under Armour. Um, I actually do like the little bit of selling that's coming in. It's not terrible. It is a retest gap and it should fade relatively quickly. Uh, I'm okay with it making a new high, but I won't move. I will, if it does this, I'll start moving my stop. It is a strong gap. The whole market's strong. I know I'm trying to short something up here. I know shorts haven't been working, but JB says, what is the new AMD stop? Let's pop over JB to the official day trades channel and we will click on this new $90.99. I'll also post this in the Slack and the Zoom chat for you. $90.99, 90 90.99. All right. Bob says A M R S A M R S. Wow. Looks like everything. 
Wow. Amazing. Can I look at DocuSign? Sure. Okay. So DocuSign, let me put this on the list for Wednesday. Docu, got it. A lot of A says in phase, E N P H, in phase energy, nice gap up. Leah says, wow, A D Y E Y. Yeah, that one's been miraculous. A hidden Dutch gem. <laughs> I would agree. A hidden gem. This one is, it's been making some gorgeous moves. All right. Um, go back to here, caps. So again, if we go back over to AMD, just as a reminder, the target is 92.33 for those who are in. Hector says, no surprise, the short's not working. No, no, no surprise there. But again, man, let's just win more on AMD than we lose on Under Armour, right? That's the goal, at least. I don't know if it's going to actually happen, but that's the goal. We will see. But we have increased the stop, so we shouldn't be able to lose. And then, yeah, again, we have a new high, which I'm okay with. That's where the noobs should be buying Under Armour. It's only up 11%. Michael says, do you like CGC? It's a pot stock play. Um, most pot stocks are up today. Trend looks great. Chart looks great. Gap looks great. Volume looks good. I don't personally like the company fundamentally necessarily, but of, of the pot stocks, I think what APHA is probably one of the strongest ones. Um, it had a really big gap up today, Afria. So if you're playing it, Mike, I mean, long-term, these are some very, very, very powerful moves that have been happening. So there's your breakout on APHA. So yeah, man, I would just say buy the dip would be my suggestion. Oh, Tilray bought APHA. Nice. Nice. Well, Tilray up a poultry 40%, because why not? All right, AMD. Bam. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Target hit on AMD. Target hit on AMD. Well done, Hector. And Marley. Marley. That's you, right, Marley? Beautiful. That's what I thought. Ahmed says, awesome call, Brosif. My pleasure. That was a great, I was a, I mean, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. Adonis says, good stuff. Justin Maxwell says, thanks. That was my first day trade and it won. Awesome, man. That's always fun when that happens. Jay Linder says, thanks for the R's. Yeah, man, you're welcome. Yes. Joel says Wednesday. Yes, 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 indeed. Um, so 92.33 was the exit on that one. And so again, on Under Armour, obviously we know it's a bearish trade. Obviously we know that the bears haven't been very strong recently and no one's selling anything ever. Jay says, turn on the RL neon light. Good call. Good call. It is a time to do that. It is the time. This is Jeremy. I'm up on all weed stocks, but I also know that they can take any day, tank any day like GME. How would you place your trailing stops? Best way to probably play the weed stocks is just to do the trim, the good old trim and trail. That's kind of my opinion. So sell some and then just have a, have a stop loss below the previous day's low and then only move it every day. For example, on Sundial, right? We're in Sundial. If you want to be in Sundial, you can put your stop right below yesterday's candle and then just sell some shares of this one today. 
and then don't do anything until it's over. And then tomorrow, you know, move your stop after the day closes below that low and so on and so forth. It's probably the best way to do it. Cause you're right. They could tank. Now, generally I, I do think some of the weed stocks have a little bit more revel relevancy. Is that, is that a word? Relevancy than, than GameStop. I mean, GameStop has absolutely nothing going for it. So, wow, you ever sell AMD just a little too early? I, you, you, did you get out, Greg? Hey, man, me too, dude. Oh, well. A few of you guys are still in. A few of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't cry about it. It was a great trade. Now, here's the thing. I do have a swing trade on AMD. You guys remember? Yeah, we got a swing trade on AMD. So let's let's not be uh don't don't cry about it. No tears. We got some put sales, we got some shares. We're building the woodshed. <laughs> That's right. Donna's got a long call. Nice. Very nice. Guys, that was a great trade. Great, great trade. Okay, so on Under Armour, again, I don't mind that I'm short. It's actually, it makes me feel good to have a short position in my, in my account. Um, I don't think it's going to work extremely well, though. So Mr. Squiggles did predict that it would go a little bit higher and then start to sell off. So what time is it? Nine o'clock. So 30 minutes is in and it didn't really fade. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more time, but we're gonna move the stop down just a little bit. Uh, we're probably gonna hopefully get out for a very small gain. But guys, think about how cool it'll be if we can take a small win on Under Armour and a small win on AMD. Well, not really that small, but if we can win on both, that'd be amazing. All right, so Lemonade, I missed that one today. Select quote, I miss, fuel cell, Uber, buy the dip is working. And Coke filled the gap, Redfin filled the gap. CGIX, I'm just, it's just on here because why, why not? Of 142%. Flow got 1.73 Rs on AMD. Wow, good trade. Robert, how'd you do on it, man? AMD is my ATM. So if you want on AMD, go ahead and type in AMD is my ATM into the chat pane. Let everybody know. Beautiful. All right. Robin says, took a quick scalp on AMD for 3.4 hours. Wow. Obviously playing options. Good job, Robin. Well done. Jack says 2.46 hours on A, B, and B, Airbnb swing trade. Wow. There you go. There you go. Look at us, team. So this is what I'm talking about, right, guys? I'm talk talking about like, hey, the market's really high, or market's really extended, so on and so forth, all that good stuff. But hey, we carved out profit in the day trade, right? We were able to go, all right, fine, market's hot, that's great, but Let's go make some money day trading and our swing trades are also doing okay. Because this is a swing trade that we're all in also on AMD, right? Everyone's in on the swing trade. There's no way you couldn't be. There is, there is zero chance you cannot be an AMD after this hammer on the 100 simple, right? It's impossible. Couldn't happen. That is, that is a beginner class 101 you know <laughs> so yeah it's good it's good let it uh, let's let it keep on ripping and amd start or sorry under armor starting to roll over too this is good all right all right all right um what else what else
Look at all this money that we are creating, all this wealth. This is so fun. Sam says, Beyond Meat is starting to break out. I think you're absolutely correct. Yeah, it's it's working on it, man. It is working on it, Marta. Go get it, Rockstar. Go get it. JKS, I hope this one will hurry up and break out. Sierra Wireless doing its thing. Purple is down one half percent. That was a fun, that was a fun options trade the other day. That was a very fun options trade on purple. Zoom info, what's Zoom info doing? Ah, uh, it's coming down to trail us out, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Palantir, PLCR, inside candle. That's fun. That is very fun. Man, a gap up on that could be really interesting. Teladoc, still powerful. Amwell, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Amwell. That's another swing trade that we're in. That's another one. Let me actually go through some of these really quick. So WW, I know we're up on. Zoom Info, we're up on. AMD, we're up on. Arlo. Let me go check out Arlo really quick. Uh, still down on Arlo. Okay. Uh, JKS, we're kind of breaking even on. Amwell, we're down a little bit on Sierra Wireless. Sandel, we're obviously up on. CLOV, I haven't looked at that one yet today. CLOV, mm, yeah, that's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. That was almost exactly what I thought was going to happen, actually. Clover Health. Okay. So down a little bit on that. First Solar, I think, triggered for Ricky Cadden. So that's up a little bit, which is cool for the uh, weekly options newsletter. AI. Got a swing trade set up on. And GOCO. Got a swing trade set up on. And then FireEye is our weekly options newsletter. Two nine twenty twenty one fire eye. Two thirty one thirty. Um, pop over here one second. So that one hasn't triggered yet, I don't believe. I don't believe so. All right, pop this in here. Bam. All right. Yates says shop is almost at 1500. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Who would have guessed? Matt DeLong. Um, I'll do my best. Michael Gurley says, I have it from 300. Good job, Gurley. Good job. Um, thank you, sir. Joseph says, hi, Care Bear Maloney. <laughs> Care Bear Maloney. Um, getting close to... Um, All right. Philip says in Tesla, 830. Uh-oh, Philip Williams is getting in Tesla. Woodshed Williams getting in. I'll put it on the list. I'll keep an eye on it, man. I can watch Tesla. I'm just, I've really been a little bit more patient on that one, expecting some rest. Maloney says the ES is looking mighty bearish. It is? You sure? 
I think it didn't, didn't it make a new all time high like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, hope it goes down for you, boo. Hope it goes down for you. Maloney says Powell speaks today. Yeah, the Powell plunge. Let's get it. All right, again, over to the Q's. Q's making a little bit of a new high. Here's Apple. Apple really kind of sideways, honestly. Uh, Amazon, chilling. Nothing really special or exciting on Amazon at all. Wix, uh-oh. Wix is running. Wix is trying to run. UPWK Upwork is at 58. Wow. That's incredible. Joel says Cloudera is a monster. Yeah, Cloudera, man, it is. It's doing really good. It is really moving. Mark says, is Uber ready for a day trade? Um, it 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 was it's been ready. Like this, this pullback right here is what I would have played. This, this dip, it is a retest gap at an all-time high. So you don't want to really be super aggressive. You don't really want to take any breakouts, in my opinion. So let it kind of pull back, but it, it's definitely a good gap. There's certainly some people trapped on Uber. So try to buy as low as you can, is my thoughts, rather than taking a breakout. It's just something to keep in mind. Let's go look at CRM. What's CRM up to? Salesforce, chilling. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I love looking at this Wix chart. This Wix chart is beautiful. Look at that on the daily. I mean, so pretty, you know? Earnings coming up. It's nice. It's very nice. It'd be cool to see what that does. Sam says, just finished back trading marathon and you talked about your JD trade. Wix looks similar. Um, there are some similar characteristics. I mean, all I can say is I'm, I'm in Wix. So I, I wouldn't totally disagree with that statement. There's a lot of rationale that I think JD made it look better in the back trade marathon, but it should be good. I am in. Sam says shorter term, higher, but getting out of the channel. Yeah, man. Ben says tweezer bottom on Under Armour. Is it anything to worry about? Um, almost. Almost. What I'm hoping is that we break that. I'm hoping that we break it. So it is, it is a concern. Yes, absolutely. And it is a retest gap, but with as high as the market is, I'm like, is there just literally no selling that's going to come in at all? So I'm just trying to be a little patient on it. Um, again, is that, gonna, is that meaningful or not? I'm not sure, but we're not losing on it right now. If it goes higher, we'll just lose, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hold until it can slowly break down some more. So we'll see. We will see. I mean, we could exit right now for a very small win, 10 cents. EXPI pulling back says Bryson Stevens. What's up, Bryson? How you doing, champion? Yeah, finally, man. EXPI. Oh, my gosh. 
this thing need to pull back in a big, big way, big way. I'm glad it is, man. It really needed to. In phase energy made a new all time high today as well. That's interesting. Uh, man. Hmm. Wow. Two and a half hours on Leland, two and a half hours for Tasuya on AMD. Jeez, guys, that's incredible. Steven says, anyone in JMIA? I'm in JMIA. I have a February $70 covered call. I am in a $70 February covered call. I will, I will not be upset if I get called away up there. So it's kind of waiting that out. So yeah, JMIA, I mean, again, that trend does look beautiful. Can't deny that at all. Linderman got three R's on Amazon. Must have day traded it, obviously. My only guess, short here, stop there, exit there on options. Am I close? Have to be close. Have to be. No, not even close. Dang. Not even almost, huh? Sorry. So Justin Linderman, shorting there. Stop there. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> um, JB says, "Is AMD retesting?" Um, it is. So we've made our money on AMD. If you're going to play it again, bullish JB, you probably want to pull back into like 91.50. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Uh, we made our money on it. Obviously, it didn't sell the exact high, but you never do. A lot of people made very, very, very good money on AMD. We're in on a swing trade. So we're in on a swing trade. I like the gap. I like the continuation. If you want to buy a dip, buy a dip. If you want to be in long on like a swing trade level, being long, it looks good to me. Yep. So if you're looking at buying a pullback, yeah, 91.86-ish would definitely be better. All right. There's the tweezers breaking down on Under Armour. Perfect. Perfect. Very good, very good. Now, uh, we are out of support, unfortunately. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's exit 10% here at 2248, and then we will lower the stop. Stop will get lowered to here. That way, folks, mathematically, it should be impossible to lose an R. So 2248, go ahead and exit 10% there. And official day trades. First target on Under Armour and stop move. Come over to the day trades. First target and stop move. All right, sweet. This is very good, very good. All right. So twenty two, uh, twenty three, thirty four is the new stop on Under Armour for our day trade. Bearish day trade is actually winning. Can you guys believe it? Bearish day trade that's actually winning. So our stop loss right now is 23.34. Uh, we're out of a little bit of our position and the next target shall be here 
for another 10%. 2219 for another 10%. 2219. By 2219, 2334, got it. Okay, so that's the current plan on um, Under Armour. Stop loss is 2334, second target is 2219. Steven says the markets are rolling over a little bit, which is good. Target two. Target two. Okay. So again, another 10%. And then after that, if we hit that, if we hit it, uh, I'll lower the stop probably to 2326. And then we'll try to hold May before it pull back to 2150. That would be very cool. Again, it's just, it's just retesting the retest gap, as Robert Falco said. All right, so AMD, great trade on that one. Um, fuel cell, oh, some selling on fuel cell. Is this the time I can actually short it? I've been looking to short fuel cell for a while. Uh, it's possible, I'm gonna leave it on the list. Papa Bear Newsom is, is alive and happy, happy right now. John Thaxton says workday hit our 276, 71 quarter one target. Wish I had held all the way. Yeah, I wish I held my calls, man. I couldn't take the pain anymore. I sold the calls on February 2nd, $20 ago. <laughs> but uh, quite, quite interesting. Redfin, great fade on Redfin. So remember guys, type in four. If you remember me saying, I think the market's gonna gap up and fade a little bit today. All right, you guys remember that? Not too long ago, numerous minutes ago. And that's what we're getting on some stuff. That's why I'm shorting Under Armour. Uh, that's just gonna keep doing its thing. And, oh, I should have shorted Twitter too. I don't know where I would have shorted it, but. Sundial growers, here she goes. Let the pump begin. Let the pump begin. 334 is our target. I mean, that'd be a huge win if we hit that too. <laughs> that'd be awesome. And Tesla, whoo, slipping on a banana peel. Tesla is a little slippy, slippy McSlipperton. High up here. It is high. Ron says Apple wants in the selling fun. Yes, it does. Jay says, is FireEye a short-term day trade? Uh, is FireEye a short for a day trade? Um, if you're looking at going long, I think you want to go long down here at $20. I don't know if it's going to get on them today, but if you're looking at playing it, it's probably more of a long, exactly where we're at right now, rather than a short. But I would, uh, I'd wait on it presently. I'd wait on it for right now. All right, target two, hit on Under Armour. Bam. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, how does this feel to win on two trades, one bullish and one bearish in the same day? Is this awesome or what? I'm having a blast. Steph says, nice, filled not on AMD, but still feels awesome. But you're still in it. You're still in Under Armour though, right, Steph? So you didn't make money on AMD, but you're winning on Under Armour. It's all good. Man, I've been craving some selling recently. <laughs> I've been craving it. All right, 2316. I think we can, let's try all the way for 2150. Next final target. 
final, oh, can't spell, final target for the rest. Michael says, Steph. So Steph and Michael are talking. Chris says, AMD tanked. AMD pulled back. Yep. It did. Type in a nine. If you guys feel great about selling your day trade, locking it up there. Again, we have a swing trade, and that's just we're just sitting back letting it do its thing, but buy low, sell high. It's easy. This stuff is not that hard. Okay. New stop loss, 23.16. There we go, Under Armour. Davidson says, you want to go again? No, I'm going to wait on, on AMD. I'm going to wait on AMD. All right. Over to Under Armour. This is nice. This is this is nice. Twenty three sixteen is the current stop loss. Now it's impossible for us to lose um, a full R on this trade. Target twenty one fifty for the rest, and twenty three sixteen, twenty three sixteen, and twenty one fifty. Got it. Okay, let me make sure I post it in here. Bam, target two, hit on our bearish Under Armour day trade. Next target from here, 40 more cents to go. Target two. All right, I need to be updating these prices, I feel like. Okay, first price exit was 22.48. Okay, second price exit was 22.19. All right, and the rest we don't know yet. We'll see. We will see. But I mean, it looks good. Uh, it's a pretty decent breakdown. Looks like a wave three to me. Now the, the rest we're probably gonna have to hold for a little bit, but I'll move the stop down in a little bit and we'll go from there. Again, if you wanna play AMD back down again, you're more than welcome to, just make sure you understand your, where you're at for the day, for the month, for the week, all that stuff. Just make sure you are comfortable with where everything is at. Okay, yeah. Market did get a little bit of selling. Good job, Maloney, by the way. Look at that. Little gap fill. All-time high gap up. Robert says, 15 minutes of selling. Uh, time to V bottom and rip higher. Yep. Yeah, probably. Go health filled on a pullback. 1470. So on our swing trade, she is active, 1470 on the pullback. Let's see if it does anything. Jay says, I got into fire eye for a day trade. All right, my man, best of luck. Ron says, I got stopped out of first solar. Oh, well. Yeah, man, good try. FSLR for solar. Really, this is kind of in a way the retest of that neckline, but I get it. I get it. That is okay. The one that's um, Sierra Wireless, CWSWIR, that one's getting some selling. Still have a stop in place, obviously. Stop is definitely there. Uh, 
Um, so I bought back GameStop. Let's see if there's anything else to really focus our time and attention on. Not really. Okay. Michael says you bought GameStop. I bought back sold puts. Yep. I had $10 put sales and I have bought those back for a profit. SKLZ skills. Skills, white candle gapping up, retest gap. If you're looking at playing it, probably buying the retest on skills. Just straight, straight up. Kind of like everything. Everything has been straight up. All right. So again, Under Armour, I don't know if it's going to go or how much lower it's going to go, but we have a target in place. And remember, the market's open all day. All day. So we might have to trail our position or something. Like, we'll have to figure that out. But, you know, we'll see. Um, and just in probably 10, 15 minutes, I'll lower the stop loss to a place where we can't lose on the day. And then that'll be that. That will be that. Do you have an, uh, an interview scheduled for today? Got an interview. So as far as the uh, recording is concerned, I don't know if you guys are, whoever might be or might not be watching this recording, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll be moving the stop down and just a little bit on Under Armour so we can't lose on the day. And we'll have a really, really nice day trading day out there. So pretty pumped about that. Michael, 